Hi, this is the third video of my four time Nagashi Bon special. Today we are going to make an item that will help you when you put on your Nagashi Bon and it will keep the shape of the back collar perfectly forever and ever and ever. You can also use this with a yukata, so this might be very interesting for you. Yo! If you haven't watched my previous video of this kimono undergarment, a so-called Nagashipan special, check out the links here and you can have fun with those videos. <laughs> Today we're going to make one of these. Um, don't ask me the name of it, but it's something you sew on the back of your Nagashipan and then you can put a tie or a belt through and pull it down when you wear it and this will keep the back collar in perfect shape for more than 24 hours. You can also sleep on it and it will still look awesome after it. So this is the secret how I keep all my Nagajupan or Yukata back collar in perfect shape. So this is my maybe my favorite kimono item and you can make it by yourself. Make sure that you stick until the end because I also want to show you how to and where to sew this on your Nagajupan. You can see I have two shapes of it and to be Honest, this one is easier to make because it's I used this for years, but I have to tell you that it's so hard to sew this on your Nagashipan because it's just a doubled elastic. You have to sew on your Nagashipan and it's really, really hard to sew that. Also, when you, after you attach this on your Nagashipan, I always have the feeling that all this strength when you pull down the Nagashipan concentrates here and this will also be concentrated directly on the Nagashipan. So after using this for years, when you put it off, there might be some holes in the Nagashipan. So I didn't really like it until I found this one. This shape on top, you have so much more fabric. This is just cotton here. So it's pretty easy to sew this on your Nagashipan. And um, as you have more space to sew it on, um, there is so much more space the strength when you pull down a nagashipan can be spread out so yeah that's why we're going to make this one today because i just like it more and i think it's better for your silk kimono to make this you need an elastic i found this in a hundred yen store um, so this is one meter and i paid 100 yen which is less than a dollar or a euro so it's pretty cheap i'm pretty sure you have a store like that close to you and hopefully they also have elastics like this this one has three centimeters width and three centimeters should be perfect for this purpose and you also need a piece of cotton i use this orange one today because in my how to sew a han eri onyanago shippan video i sew white thread on white fabric hence you couldn't see at all what i was doing <laughs> i didn't think that through that time but today i thought it through and so i'm going to use this orange one and i also want to sell this on my orange nagajupan and i thought it maybe looks cute when it has the same color as nagajupan i actually recommend white cotton for this because when you sew this on your summer nagashipan and we all know that summer kimono uh, see-through you can see a red or an orange spot through the kimono and also when you sew this on a normal nagashipan and you have a lot of light colored kimono you could see this through the kimono but if you want to make something special or you want to have something colorful on your colorful nagashipan or you want to make something you can buy, then go with whatever cotton you like and love. Today we're going to use a sewing machine and I'm so bad at sewing, so you will figure that out. If you're not good at sewing like me, then you can be confident. When I can do it, you can definitely do it too. First we draw the shape on paper, start with 5.2 cm for the bottom. The length should be 5.5 cm. And then 7 cm for the top. 
connect the corners and then you have the basic shape. Cut this out and pin it on two layers of the cotton fabric to cut this too. Cut the elastic in 8 cm length. And then we're all set for the sewing machine. The margin is 1 cm from the bottom to the top and then the top and the right side. Make sure not to sew the bottom this time, leave the bottom open. After sewing it for the first time, it should look like this. Turn this inside out. Fold the edge of the bottom with 1cm margin inside. I really struggle with showing this into the camera, but I hope you can figure it out somehow. <laughs> it's not that hard, just fold the edge inside. And then it should look like this. Take the elastic and fold it into half and put it inside the cotton we just sewed together. One centimeter of the elastic should be inside and three centimeters should look outside. I always pin this even if it's really hard to pin. And then I sew the bottom once forward, once backward, and once forward again. Which means you sew it three times. Do this maybe slowly because I think your sewing machine could struggle with all the fabric. Once you've done this, sew another seam around the cotton with centimeter distance from the edge. Finished! And then I check if my Nagajipan belt passes through the elastic. Yep, perfect! So now that we're finished with the sewing machine, I'm going to show you how to and where to sew this on a Nagajupan. To sew this on a Nagajupan, I always have another piece of thinner cotton. I always fold this two times so it fits the cotton of the elastic. Then I put it together like this. And I place this together on the Nagajupan. The best place is 15 to 18 centimeters from the bottom of the collar on the center back seam. It depends on your height, but it'll work perfect when you use the length between your middle finger and thumb. Place the edge of the elastic under your thumb. This should be the perfect place for you. And pin this on the Nagajupan. Everyone is sewing this a little differently. Some people make a whole lap around the cotton. Other people sew it on with a cross. And I personally prefer just three straight lines. I always sew this with silk thread because it's a silk nagajupan and it's important always to sew silk with silk and polyester with polyester. I always make sure that the knots of the thread are inside and not showing up. 
and I just sew this quite loosely, not too strong because I don't want to hurt my silk manga japan and yeah, I don't care too much if it's super straight or not. Done! Last check, middle finger and thumb. And the back should look like this. In my last Nagajipan special next week, I want to show you how to put on a Nagajipan using this. And I also will show you how to fake the same effect with your back color without having to buy or make one of these. Feel always free to subscribe or to leave a thumb up or to write a comment with a feedback or questions or request for new tutorials you want to see. And I talk to you in my next video. Bye!